The search for Jeffrey Woodruff, a man missing in Saugatuck since Saturday night, is now a death investigation. His body was pulled from the Kalamazoo Lake about 90 minutes ago. And 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson just spoke with Woodruff's family about what's got to be devastating news for them, Mark. Yeah, absolutely devastating, Brian. And if you look behind me, you can still see that family and friends are gathered here at the scene, uh, along with police investigators. We're right here on the corner of Water and Spear in downtown Saugatuck. As you mentioned, state police did recover the body of 25-year-old Jeff Woodruff. That body was discovered by dive teams in the Kalamazoo River that funnels right into the Kalamazoo Lake around 4.30 this afternoon. Now, they had been searching this area along with family members all day long. They had a state police helicopter in the air and boats in the water. Family reported Woodruff missing yesterday, but he was actually last seen Saturday night at Wally's Bar in downtown Saugatuck. Now, according to people who saw him that night, he had had quite a bit to drink and he may have been intoxicated. Now, there were some clues that led police to the search area today. Woodruff's cell phone was found about a block away from the bar in a small park by that water. Police also got a call around midnight that night reporting that a young man was lying in the grass in the area near the water as well. Now that's the same area where police say that that was, body was recovered in the Kalamazoo River here this afternoon. Now we spoke with family and friends a short time ago. They wanted to thank everyone who offered up their prayers and helped pass out flyers today. But as you can imagine, they are devastated by the loss. He is just an angel. He's just an angel. How could he go? I don't know. Now that was Jeffrey Woodruff's mother and friends and family say that he was the type of person who would have given the shirt off of his back to help anyone that he knew. We're going to hear more from them coming up tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock. As far as the investigation, state police don't have any reason to suspect foul play at this point, but they tell me they will conduct a full and complete investigation, and they'll have to wait on those autopsy results to come back before they make any final determination. Reporting live in Saugatuck tonight, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8.